Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Rhythm Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about headphones and not those overhead but just uh, normal in-ear headphones. So literally I didn't think to create the video but uh, I exercised at the gym and just listened to music and podcasts and audiobooks and many people asking why I have different headphones, uh, headphones all the time and I thought well I don't know and I just realized I've got history of evolution what I would call um, the headphones that I'm using mostly as a daily driver they are different from what I use uh, a year ago a couple of years ago and I would like to talk about uh, value for money when you buy headphones what do you get for it there's a lot of videos on YouTube that uh, describe quality of music and quality of headphones and what to look for this video is a bit different um, I don't understand the music I don't understand the quality they all sound more or less same to me but there is a significant difference depends what you're using uh, headphones for so let's start with the cheapest one and they were my second choice uh, when I bought one those are sound Beats, I believe, yeah, Sound Pits True Free Wireless. I bought it on Amazon promotion, I think 30 or 40 dollars. And the idea was it's not a big money, I'll spin and have a look what it is. And to be honest, they did not let me down. Um, would I recommend them for everyone? No, but I'm still using them, and they some functions of those cheap headphones are. Um, um, better than you know even expensive ones like for example I've got Sennheiser uh, True Wireless version 2 and it does not go between devices as well you need to disconnect from one to another when sound pits you know do it natively and I'm quite surprised that such a premium brand like Sennheiser would not uh, take care of something like that but let's start from the beginning let's start with my um, I would say most frequent use. Where do I use my headphones? I use them in the gym. I exercise, uh, music is my motivation and every day um, I think I need different music and music at the gym um, not doing anything for me so I choose my own music and I stream it. Um, so I used to have uh, Plantronics uh, uh, big bit and they are amazing for their price I think I put them for 100 to 110 dollars and I use them for more than a year and a half maybe even two years and they are great with everything but first of all they're not true wireless so they've got that um, kind of overarching wire on top so when you do jumps and things like that, it keep bouncing or you're done running on the treadmill. So that's the first uh, negative part. And second is um, they kind of, when you put them on, they wrap around the ear, which is amazingly secure sitting in the ears and never falls out. But they're not, um, they're not isolating you from the environment. So they're not noise cancelling and also you can hear all things going on around you. On one hand it's good because you still can maintain conversation while music is playing. On the other hand, you're not truly immersed in what you're doing. However, for 100 bucks, you cannot go wrong with them. I exercise probably between an hour to an hour and a half a day. They are good enough for five days without recharging. Pretty good stuff, pretty good tunes and they are sweat resistant. So I think they are really good as a gym headphones. Not the best, not the worst, just good for $100. What they're not good for is, um, you know, I like to listen to audiobooks uh, in a bed. And when you lay down, you do feel that wire. And every time that you turn, um, it kind of pulls it from your ear. So they're not good for every occasion, but would you recommend them? Yes, I would. So, um, 
uh, Blackbeard, the Amazon uh, currently between 70 to 80 dollars. You cannot go wrong with them. They're old fashioned ones, but they're good. My second ones were um, sound pits, um, wireless, true wireless, true free. And what can I say? You get what you pay for. Uh, the Credo has a battery with charging and a charging. But you know what? Sometimes um, they cannot reconcile between one another and sometimes they connect well, sometimes they don't connect well. Most of the time they work fine. And what I use them for? Uh, listen to audiobook. Not music, anything. Audiobook is great. Even listen to music. If you're not a music nut, uh, the tunes that come out of it, it's not too bad. Um, the distance, the wireless distance, Bluetooth is not great. Um, also, the battery life is not awesome. But for $40, if you don't have any headphones, that's an amazing start and you cannot go with, uh, wrong with it. What I don't like about them is the microphone quality. If during your listening you receive phone call, um, it's pretty bad quality. Microphone is pretty bad quality. When I say bad, it's not bad per se, but uh, compare even with uh, Plantronics or not even comparing to Sennheiser. Those are uh, most of the you know, top of the range. But I would say if you're just listening and you don't care about uh, top quality music or just listen to audiobook, 30 to 40 dollars, sound pits, uh, literally any model of them, they're between 20 to 50 dollars or maybe even 100 dollars, you can choose good ones. And the last ones I would like to talk as my most uh, dr daily driver is uh, Sennheiser uh, version 2. Um, they are significant improvement over the version 1 and not in the sense of quality of music. I think version 1 was actually pretty good, not maybe even better. But what uh, happened to version 1, there was some phantom discharge of the battery. Uh, many people were not happy with it and the price went down. These guys, version 2, hold the price very well. Um, I think uh, when they got out um, in Australia, they were $499, now they're close to $400 and um, on the days when Amazon do promotions, they, you could buy them for $320, $350, which is amazing price. It's a premium price to pay, but it is premium product. It's not the best one on the market, but if you can afford them, what you get out of the box you get amazing sound, probably one of the best sounds that uh, I, um, I ever heard in the true wireless headphones. Also, the battery life is phenomenal. I don't remember ever running out of battery on them. And when you do, you put them in the cradle and there's a plenty more charge for, and it's fast charge as well. So that's really good. Um, unlike others, uh, it's powered by USB-C. The other two powered by uh, normal mini USB, which is not convenient because everything USB-C these days. Um, and microphone quality is good. Um, when it's too windy outside, it's a bit challenging. However, uh, microphone quality for phone calls are pretty good. So if you, you know, if you got a little bit of money, there's so much choice in the market. You've got Samsungs. If you're in uh, Apple ecosystem, there's a um, um, Apple um, in-ear headphones look really good, but if you would like brand and quality that works with Android and Samsung and PCs and everything, Sennheiser are probably good, one of the best ones in the market. So with this review, what I would like wanted to do is um, to make sure that People don't jump into most expensive because it's not necessarily fit the purpose. You've got choice of uh, expensive, cheaper, and the cheapest ones. And I'll put links down below for everything that I tested so far. My subjective opinion, I don't connect any equipment to check what tunes it pumps out. I don't exhaust the batteries to tell um, um, which one is like five minutes more than another you can play however and my humble opinion expensive but maybe not worth it maybe worth it it's up to you 
uh, for 70 to 100 bucks uh, Plantronics if you can you know tolerate the top strip uh, and not for isolation from the environment it's amazing choice and uh, sound pits if you don't really care about quality of music or quality of microphone you just would like to listen to your uh, audiobooks and simple music that's all for today uh, if you like this video or any other videos on my channel please feel free to subscribe like and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future thank you so much greg from brisbane until next time